Hello and welcome to Animation Pro. Here's a short tutorial to get you started. This is the project screen. Tap on the plus button at the top of the screen to create a new project and then tap on it to open it. This is the main animation screen. At the bottom of the screen you will see a film strip that will show all of the frames in your animation. Right now it only contains a single blank frame. To add items to the frame, press the plus button at the top of the screen. In Animation Pro you will typically animate figures. So I'll select Figure from the Add menu and then select one of the example figures that comes packaged with the app. Now the flashing orange dot is known as the figure's anchor point. You can drag the anchor point around the frame with your finger to position the figure. The other red and blue dots on the figure are the figure's handles. These can be used to move the items in the figure. Of course, you might, for example, wish to make the figure smaller. In Animation Pro, figure level adjustments can be made using the figure inspector. Press the button with the picture of the magnifying glass on it to open the figure inspector and then rotate the scale dial to make the figure smaller. Now creating a simple animation is pretty easy. Set up the frame, press the big blue plus button to capture it, and then repeat. To see a quick preview of your animation, press the play button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. To export your animation as a video, or as a sequence of images, select export animation from the output menu. Once exported, you can share it with other apps or save it to your device's photo library. Now you will, of course, ultimately want to create your own figures. To create a figure, select Create a Figure from the Create Crop menu. This menu will be available on most of the screens within Animation Pro. The figure editor may be used to create everything from simple stick figures through to complex poseable characters containing your very own images. Right now, he's demonstrating how to build a figure by drawing each body part. But body parts may also be created from lines, circles, text, images, or automatic lip syncing mouths, the latter of which may be built using Animation Pro's integrated mouth creator. Now when it comes to putting images in your figures, you can draw them as shown here, create them separately within Animation Pro's integrated image creator, or bring them in from your favourite drawing app. When using other apps to create your images, it's best to share them as PNG files to preserve any transparency that might be in them. So let's, through the magic of video, jump forward a little so that I can explain exactly how I'm adding new items to the figure. To add a new arm to the figure, I'll start by selecting the body part that I wish to join it to. I'll then press the drawing button in the add panel. This will add an empty drawing that I can drag to a new position by its pivot point and then rotate using its handle. Then with the item selected I can press the big drawing button at the bottom right of the screen to enter the drawing view. Here I'll select the stylus tool and quickly draw another arm. Man this dude really sucks at drawing. Next. I'll use the Fill tool with a gradient colour to fill in the figure's clothing by dragging to set the direction of the gradient. I'll then fill the arm with a solid colour. I can now press the green tick button at the top left of the screen to accept the changes and exit the drawing view. Now the arm should be behind the figure's torso, so I'll rotate the Z-order dial at the bottom of the screen to move it to the back. So there we have it. If I press the test button at the top of the screen, I can see just how the figure will perform when animating. Now that's a really, really quick introduction to the main components within Animation Pro. But there's a whole lot more. So please press the question mark button found at the top of most of the Animation Pro screens to access the Animation Pro help. There you will find over 500 pages of in-depth documentation together with links to multiple video tutorials that will help to get you started.